Edda Booth Mayo, the wife of Professor Leonidas Mayo, was one of the leading roles in preparing Northeast Texas for a change in education. With the support of other major family members and strong female role models such as Dean Margaret Berry, East Texas State University was proudly a strong motivator for the college systems in Texas to become desegregated entirely, from dormitories being made available to females and followed by sports programs. As female and African American diversity continued to flourish within the university, so did recognition towards desegregation thrive among the other parts of Texas. City and statewide events began to occur that sent a deep-rooted change within Texas to turn the century into a newly formed desegregated education system. When I would go home in the summer or whenever I was there, when I was in college, it was so funny because people would say, ask Irma Jean, she goes to college, she knows everything. <laughs> It was such a big deal. Everybody was, oh, she goes to college. Well, you know, that's Miss Thelma's proper child. She's always been proper. <laughs> now we find ourselves, a new generation that permits all women in diversities to attend our schooling systems. But has segregation come to a complete stop? now say more than 50 years after Brown versus Board of Education, TEA numbers show little progress when it comes to Latino and African American segregation in schools here in Texas. And one of the hardest hit groups, kids learning English as a second language, a group where many are in high poverty, high minority and low performing schools. It's also a timely issue for Austin as a new census report this week shows more than one in four Austinites or 28% speak a foreign language at home, nearly 35% statewide. With a strong international student population continuing to grow every day while the university has never failed to openly accept each culture, gender, or orientation. There still is some segregation within Texas, as well as other states as the rising population of English language learners within school districts continue to prosper.